since you're here, we might as well get started. But Unified never really gave us a way to specify certificates right in the user interface, so I want to show you also how easy it is to set up your Unify instance with a Let's Encrypt certificate, and how to schedule it to automatically update. So let's dive into that. Uh, there's a guy named Steve Jenkins on GitHub that made some Unify utilities that we're going to go ahead and take advantage of. Specifically, we're going to use his Unify SSL import. So one thing I want to check... Is our firewall turned on? That could cause us issues, and if it is turned on, then we'll have to punch some holes through it for the proper ports. But we installed Unify, and that started responding immediately, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. With Let's Encrypt, uh, port 80 needs to be opened. So first of all, let's install Let's Encrypt. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the Let's Encrypt part. So sudo let's encrypt cert only. Uh, I want to do a temporary web server because we're not running Apache. Thank you. Uh, please enter your domain name, unify.homelabtechsupport.com. If you don't have your DNS set up already, that's something that you'll need to do. I already have my Unify DNS set up to point to this server, so that's why I was able to just type that in. Okay, congratulations, your certificate chains have been saved here, which is great. So we'll have to remember that. So, using Steve's um, script, let's go ahead and pull that down. So, so I made a mistake in the original filming of this, but I didn't end up refilming. Um, so I have to do a little voiceover for you. Um, the link that I originally copied from his GitHub was an HTML link instead of the raw copy of his script. So I'm just making a change to this. Again, it'll be in the details of the YouTube video um on what i'm actually putting in here but uh yeah click on the raw button under the script for pete's sake set executable nano holy crap okay great now this is where we need to be all right so uh we need to comment these lines or nullify them because we're not using Red Hat, but we need to uncomment these because we are using Debian. Uh, LE mode, yes. Yes, and we'll leave the directory as default. Uh, I already missed the top here. So we need to unify.homelabtech. Uh, yep, so those are all of the parameters that we need to set for this. Control O to write out, enter, yes I'm sure, Control X, exit us out. All right, now we need to actually run his script. Usually long. Okay, so pseudo service unify status. Okay, it's running. Cool. So where is our site? Okay, so we have to change the IP address to the DNS address, which is unify.homelabtechsupport.com. And look at that. No more certificate error. And if we click on here, connection is secure. 
Okay, so now that we have Let's Encrypt working and the controller working, we have to renew the certificate before the 90 day mark. So let's go ahead and schedule that in cron tab every two months. So that way it's automatic and you don't have to think about the certificate again. So to do that, let's go and edit cron tab. So CronTab runs on a schedule, minutes, hours, day of the month, uh, which month, and day of the week. So one through seven here. Uh, you specify the user that you want to run the command as and which command you want to run. So, okay, so I made a few mistakes, but I'm doing another voiceover just to correct them because I want you to be able to understand what is actually going on here. Uh, what I'm typing in is a little bit inaccurate. Um, the the commands themselves are fine it's the timing that I screwed up on so the the timing that you'll see right there um, is actually going to run it at the first of the month which is fine if you want to do that although now I'm, I'm making changes to that um, so that that's still incorrect I'll, I'll put it in the description and you should see it on the screen now um, but uh, the first command is going to run as root the let's encrypt certificate renew that's going to be highlighted right there um, so that's that's the first thing that needs to happen and we need to run that before the 90 days ideally we would run it at 60 days and then after that five minutes after that command that second command right there is also going to run as root but that is the script that we pulled down from Steve that's actually going to take the certificate that let's encrypt gave us and actually put that into unify um, so yeah, let's go ahead and write out this script. So again, control O to write, enter to confirm, control X to exit, and it's done. That's it. It was really easy to set up the Unify controller with Let's Encrypt and automate it that every 60 days, your certificate's gonna automatically renew. I'm gonna put all of the details in the description below so that you have the steps to be able to do what we just did in this video. But please remember to like and subscribe. I'm doing this for free for a while. I'm not monetizing my channel because I wanna help you, the home lab user, have a much better experience with technology. Technology isn't hard and it shouldn't be for you. Have a great day, like and subscribe.